Happy Halloween. I'm Geraldine Goykachea here with Long Beach Local News and we're here at the Miller Children's and Women's Hospital Long Beach where the Long Beach firefighters have a very special treat for these young patients. Let's go talk to Child Life Program Manager Rita. This is our annual trick-or-treat parade that we do with the pediatric patients here at Memorial Care Miller Children's and Women's Hospital Long Beach and we've done it for 49 years because next year's our 50th anniversary so that's gonna be our big one um, so it's just a wonderful day a fantastic event for the patients um, just really trying to normalize the hospital environment because if they weren't here in the hospital they'd be at school and participating in Halloween carnivals and so forth so we want to bring a little bit of that here to the hospital to make the hospital not such a scary place my favorite part of our trick-or-treat event is Number one, to see all of the different costumes that all the children wear. But I think what always touches me is just to see the children's faces and that, that smile that comes to their face. They're so excited. And the parents are so touched, too, that we do this special event for their children here in the hospital. with fireman Jack Crabtree. Can you tell us a little bit about today's event? There was a handful of fire engines and firefighters from Long Beach Fire Department and we come to Long Beach Memorial Miller Children's Wing and we try to bring joy to kids that can't go out and go trick-or-treating. So we're paired off with kids and their families and the staff and we go throughout the hospital to all the different sections and the different sections decorated for Halloween and we bring these bags around all the stations and the kids are able to go trick-or-treating in a safe, fun environment. That's amazing. How many firemen are here today? Roughly 30, 30 firefighters, uh, both on duty and volunteering just to spend time with the kids. And this is a program that they do a few times throughout the year with the hospital. Uh, we do a similar event at Christmas time when Santa comes and visits the kids. And we also do a summer program where we bring sand, beach balls, and other outdoor activities to kids that can't go outside and enjoy summer. I think just being able to give back towards the, or giving back to the community. Uh, a lot of these kids can't uh, be at home celebrating Halloween in its traditional sense. So this gives us an opportunity to bring uh, Halloween to the kids here at the hospital and hopefully let them forget that they're in the hospital. Hi, what's your name? Imani. Imani, what are you dressed up today as? Fairy. A fairy? So cute. And how many bags of candy do you have with you? I have no clue. <laughs> Like, it's so much, so. Which is your favorite candy that you're looking forward to in eating today, getting your hands on? Mm, sour gummy worms. They're colorful, they taste good. <laughs> what do you like about this event? Um, I like that they're giving the kids a chance to still uh, get their Halloween, even though it's not regular Halloween. We still get a chance to trick or treat and all that and I think it's nice. Well, I hope you enjoy your Halloween. Thank you, I hope you do too. The look on these kids' faces filled with so much happiness makes us thrilled to be a part of this event. Special thanks to the Long Beach Fire Department for giving back to the community. For more news updates, visit us at longbeachlocalnews.com. I'm Geraldine Goykochea. We hope you have a very safe and happy Halloween.